Hey up everyone, right, so <clears throat> a bit of a report on the whole moving to Scarborough thing, there's been some quite dramatic changes, right. So basically the situation that I was in before was, there was basically two hoops that I had to jump through, yeah, to get this sorted out. So the first hoop is I had to send this letter in from the Department from Work and Pensions, right, so I sent a letter in. And they were like, oh yeah, this letter's four months old and we need a letter that's three months old. I'm like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever, it's like one month, why is that even a thing? So like, yeah, we need this new letter, right? So I was like, all right, fair enough. So I rang Department for Work and Pensions and asked them to send me a new, new letter out. And I'm waiting for this letter to arrive, yeah. So the second hoop was that my mum was supposed to be my guarantor, so like if I didn't pay my rent, then my mum would pay it or something, yeah. And I had to go and get loads of information, like my mum's like passport and some bank statements and stuff like this, yeah. And I was like, yeah, whatever, that means I've got to go travel to my mum, right? My mum lives miles away from me. It takes me all day to get there, do you know what I mean? So I'm like, so it looks like that's what I've got to do, right? So, so anyhow, I contacted them and I said, look, look, like, I know that, like, my mum's supposed to be my guarantor, but look, I've got enough income coming in to prove that I can pay for this myself. If you just let me submit my bank statements with my income, then you'll be able to see that I've got enough, right? And then I don't have to go travel to my mum's and like whatever that's a major fucking day that's not going to be wasted will you accept this so then they sent me on to other people and they goes like yeah all right we'll accept that just send in your bank statements so i was like fine so so i sent my bank statements in right so now the only hoop is this letter from the department from work and pensions right so anyhow i wake up this morning and it says that the referencing company I've closed my account and they've sent their referencing report to the estate agents, right, yeah? Which is a bit weird considering that there's still things I needed to send in, right? So, so I ring the estate agents and I say, like, what's going on? And they're like, yeah, so basically the referencing thing have said that there should be a conditional acceptance... Be, uh, but, like, determined upon whether you get this guarantor thing with your mum, right? And I was like, yeah, all right. But I've just told them that I'd send in my income from this, and that should cover that. So she's like, yeah, that, that, that should cover that, right? So I'm like, so does that mean that, like, that conditional acceptance is now acceptance? And she's like, well, I can't really make that decision over the phone with you. But to be fair, that looks like the situation that we're in, right? So so it looks like I'd been given a conditional acceptance, but because I'd submitted this further evidence, that should be a solid acceptance, right? So, um, so what that means is, like, if this credit referencing agency is sending a solid acceptance to the estate agents, on what basis will the estate agents reject that? Do you know what I mean? They won't. They'll accept it, won't they? So... It seems to me that, like, this letter that I have to send in, it seems to me that the credit referencing agency weren't really that asked about that. Like, whatever, what I sent in was only four, it was only one month out of date, so they probably thought, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. Nothing will have changed more in a month. You know what I mean? So they kind of accepted that, anyhow. But anyhow, this is the situation, is... Every single thing that they've asked me to submit, I've submitted, yeah. They wanted my mum to be a reference, but I've given them an alternative solution and they've accepted that, right? So, so basically, right now, I have to ask the question, on what basis am I not getting this house? <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything you've asked from me, I've provided. You've given a conditional acceptance, but I've given you an alternative. So that conditional acceptance should turn into a solid acceptance, which means the estate agent should accept my application for this. Do you know what I mean? 
So, after a year of trying to move to Scarborough and having just disappointment after disappointment after disappointment, I feel like right now I'm in a situation where you have to ask, on what basis are you not getting this house? You know what I mean? Everything they've asked from you, you've supplied. Everything they've wanted, you've given them. They gave a conditional acceptance, and now you've already provided them with enough stuff that that should go to a solid acceptance. So... So it feels that, like... I've done everything, do you know what I mean? There's nothing left to do. There's nothing left that they want from me. Everything they've asked from me, I've provided. Everything they've wanted, I've given them. And now we're into a solid acceptance stage. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? My heart is going, we're in Scarborough, we're there, we're in Scarborough. And my head's going, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. We've been here before, we've been here before. So, until I sign the contract, until I hand over the money, there's still going to be a part of me that's not going to accept that this is actually happening. Do you know what I mean? But, but really, the reality is, I don't see anything that can stop this happening now. Do you know what I mean? I don't see any any anything that can go wrong. Which means... <laughs> I'm moving to Scarborough!